Hey guys. Hi. Well, howdy. Howdy dowdy. <laughs> Today I'm here with my mom at her house and we're gonna make some terrariums. But I didn't realize she was gonna go um, all out and get like a massive one. <laughs> so, um, but I just bought this little thing. But it'll be good because then we can see two different, like, if you have more limited space or if you're an all outer and you have more space. Here's what you need. <laughs> Because I want to go, go ahead then. I thought you were going. You go. can show yours. No, go. Just hurry. Put yours in it. Battery. Put yours in it. Put mine wet. That. Oh. So first you're going to need a container, preferably one you can see through. Otherwise you won't be able to see any of your plants. And then we're doing closed terrariums, so they're going to need lids. So then you're also going to need... You're also going to need like pebbles to put at the bottom. Um, you'll need charcoal, soil of course, and then we're just using a uh, soil that's Miracle Gross or what is it? Miracle Gold or Black Gold, whatever. Black Gold soil mixed with perlite. Then you're also of course going to need your plants. So you're going to want plants that like humidity. So yeah, they look out for all that. need to like humidity because that's what this is for. Yeah. Um, and then just like little decorations. So we have bark, pieces, some wood. My mom found a really cute piece of wood for hers. Yeah, really cute. And then I got, I brought some rose quartz crystal and then this little cup thing. And I thought maybe I could use like some rocks depending on your color scheme, I guess. So for mine, I found this cute little mushroom at the dollar store. And then I got this uh, piece of wood. It's actually a cactus that has like... Not uh on. -uh. Yeah, and then I got some black gravel, dollar store, and then just some cute little plants to put in there. Okay, so okay. should we just get to it? Yes. Yeah. What are you going to do? I'm going to put this on the bottom, okay. and then put a layer of charcoal, and then put a layer of soil. Yep. With the lids, um, it actually makes it so that you never have to water this. It mimics the water cycle on the earth mm -hmm. if it's done right. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, that is really cool. And like the research I was doing, it was saying that you should only see like per 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 precipitation <laughs> droplets. You should only see per per <laughs> <laughs> precipitation <laughs> droplets on the around the jar in the morning and the evening but if you're seeing it there throughout the day then you have too much water in it and you should take the lid off to let it evaporate out a little bit did that make sense no it didn't but that did make sense and you know what's cool is my house in the morning there's um mildew or not mildew <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, Milk dew food. drops. Yeah, like condensation on the inside of my windows in the morning and at night. Good thing to know. <laughs> You're a good talker. I'm a great talker. Thanks. I learned it from my mom. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some of my little pebbles at the bottom. So am I. Mine are a little bit littler than hers. Yeah, that's why I was saying you want like a thin layer to put at the bottom of these. I have enough. That's enough, isn't that's it? That's all you want. Can I just dump this yeah. in there? Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Sharing is caring. Yep. Yeah, sharing is caring, especially because we got in like four fights today already. <laughs> <laughs> we did. I think it's just a mother and daughter thing. Okay. And last week when we had a fight, we were like, you said, well, it's better to be able to talk about it and then get over it yeah. than to keep it all bottled up. So now we just let everything. Yeah, <laughs> everybody thinks we're just best friends 24 seven, but yeah. that's not the case. She frustrates me more than anybody in the whole world. Yeah, and same. <laughs> <laughs> like really, I'm not even being dramatic. I'm not even. And the thing is, we're so much alike too. That's real annoying also. Yeah, I hang out with my mom more than anybody else if that says anything. Oh, that's oh, so cute. That's really cute. Yeah, I didn't know if it'd be cute, you know. I got this also with the DI for like 50 cents. And my grandma also really likes to yard sell and she buys me a lot of random stuff like this. Uh-huh. And that be cute in these two. Yeah. So. My mom likes little tiny things. Yeah. Everything. Little like tiny. I really do have things just like this all over my house from grandma. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Oh, did you remember that one time? Stuff. My grandpa went yard selling and he had this basket of like cassette tapes. <laughs> We're like, good fight. He's like, do you want these? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I don't want to be rude, but yeah. What's a cassette tape, kind of? I like, I know what it is. I've never, yeah. I don't think I've ever used one, Like, though. no one uses those. <laughs> he's so funny, but, but he's like, I got it for a dollar. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. But it was such a great bargain. So oh, <laughs> they make me laugh. That was a tangent. If you I have a cassette know. tape you don't know what to do with anymore, plop it in your feed. <laughs> you could do like an under the sea one. That'd be cute, uh, Cause they're probably but is that what you're doing? When I hit 20,000, I'm building an aquarium underwater and it's basically the same thing, but underwater. Cute. So once I hit 20,000, that's my, that's the big video. When I hit 10, it was my variegated Monstera unboxing. 20 is going to be, I'm gonna set up a fish tank cause it's the natural cycle again. And that's fun. It's that's just different. Fun. Yeah, so I'm gonna do it with live plants and we're gonna do like an actual aquascape without any like fake stuff. It's the natural cycle. Like yeah. you're basically just recreating your own world. Like yeah. that makes me think it's a conspiracy. What if we are somebody's terrarium? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Basically, we're God's terrarium. Does that make you nauseous? Because it makes me nauseous. No. No. We're God's terrarium. We kind of are. That's kind of sickening, huh? Or somebody's sin game, <laughs> however you want to put it. Either way. Or some higher power. I just... It's wish, all the same, really. But I don't picture, like, God isn't up there, like, pushing... Well, in some cases he is. That's what miracles are. Yeah, I'm just... getting anxiety from talking about this. <laughs> For real. Okay. I can fill it in my back. We need to stop. Moving on. Do you think that's enough soil or do I need more? Uh -oh. Probably more. This isn't going to fit, so I'm probably going to have to saw it in half or something. Do you have a saw? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just whip it out of my... I pulled this out of my flower bed outside. <laughs> but I, went I thought there. you were going to say out of my butt. <laughs> Okay, I'm going for an uneven one. So I filled it up so parts of it are like higher than others and it'll naturally settle how it needs to settle. I've got to break this, excuse me. So yeah, I did oh. it. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> oh, oh. You got it? I think I just got a sliver. Really, can I have this? <laughs> yeah. That might fit <laughs> in your jar. This is gonna fit in my jar. <laughs> and so for my plants, we have some options here. There's this little piece of ivy. Oh gosh, I just pulled my mom's plant out of the dirt. <laughs> That's okay, cause I'm gonna, I'll just put it in here real quick. How do you fill up with the mushroom placement? Yeah, that looks cute. Are you just saying No, that? I think that so looks really out. good. It looks very feng shui, mom. Is that what you wanna hear? You are so zen and feng shui. Th this is gonna grow <gasps> up this Shut shit. up, That's so cute. <laughs> I'm excited! My little teeny piece of cactus bone. How many subscribers do you have right now? Me? Uh -huh. I think like, I hit 15,000. Are you mad at me? A little. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have got you one, but you said you already had yours. Well, I didn't realize we were gonna build like the terrarium of your dreams. Go big. I just quit my job. I have to be a little more cheap. Probably this one should go, where do you think? I, don't know. I think this is a foreground plant. Wherever you want your main, which is probably right here. Then I would put this in there and put that maybe a little bit farther behind. Because so this that, will stay down low. Yeah. So you can still view. Woo! <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you maybe that's it? why. <laughs> sorry, little bud. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was stressful. And that doesn't happen every day. Huh? My mom's taken up the whole <laughs> surface, so it's fine. I'll just. <laughs> Oh, my jar so big. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I hope that it works. Where does the charcoal go? We were supposed to add it in already. I feel like I want to take all my stuff out and fix it. You go right on ahead. I should have added charcoal, but I'm probably just gonna sprinkle some dust over the top. I'm I'm moving my dirt and putting it on the bottom because I just want this to work how it's supposed to, you know? And I don't want to get mold. In it. I'm just gonna watch mine carefully. I don't have a Bognari yada yada in mine, so it's fine. Don't call me my yada yada. I forgot to talk this whole time because I had to hold my breath to be able to get these little plants in there. And now I'm just gonna like spray in there, I guess. Yeah. I don't know how much to really put in there, but I'll start with a little and add more as I. That's always a wise decision. Continues to spray more. <laughs> It was a good plan in theory. Oh, I love this. There was definitely not, oh, there's another little leaf I can throw in there. Cute! Pop the lid on and I'm done. That was a stressful, how many minutes has this been? Probably like 30 minutes. And I'll show you some close-ups. I'm not done yet. Have you ever made a terrarium? Yeah. 
I'm very genuinely curious. And if you have, what did you put in it? How did it do? Like, is it still alive? Can you send us a picture on Instagram? Oh yeah. Yeah, that log or whatever, the cactus bone added a lot. Yeah. And this makes me even more excited to do my fish tank. <laughs> yeah, that'll be so fun. When you were little, you used to catch bugs all the time and I feel like you were making your own little worlds. I was. Yeah, I remember when I was little too, I had a shoebox full of potato bugs. <laughs> that, and I drew like, the rooms inside the shoebox for him and you were a weird kid <laughs> <laughs> i was an only child basically no you had potato bug siblings <laughs> yeah and a goat <laughs> yeah. i like how you can see the layers me too I... and then maybe if the roots get so big you could see the roots yeah you probably could and i'm sure we'll do an update later on Oh, for sure. A, they're still alive, and B, <laughs> if they are alive, how they're doing. I don't see why they wouldn't be alive. I don't see why they wouldn't be alive when they just live in my house, either. <laughs> That's true. I don't know, we've set them up for success, I feel like, so now. My battery's gonna die. Can we really quick film my outro? Mm -hmm. Here is my terrarium. I will film some close-ups and show you. <laughs> Mom, my thing's gonna die. Okay, what is that? So one? here's how my terrarium turned out and my mom's terrarium uh, We'll insert some close-ups into the video as well And this was a lot of fun right. and no matter what kind of space you have you can make one Yeah, cuz mine's small and cute hers is large and cute Yeah, so you can make it work with whatever limits you have whatever you got. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one Bye Okay, so here's how my terrarium turned out. You can't exactly see everything because of the droplets, but you can see the different layers. There's the cactus bone, um, rose quartz. There's a little bit of Cactus bone. <laughs> that's what it is. Basically, it dried yeah. and that's what's left. It's a cactus carcass. The more you know. The wood. Cactus carcass is better. <laughs> cactus carcass. So here's a peperomia ripple and then some more there. There's some like variegated ivy in there. So here you can see a little bit better what I have in there. Oh, I just thought it just made the weird sound. That's cute.